I mean, they put a lot of emphasis on the fact that she got some big ass watermelon titties. <laughs> watermelon titties. I, and I ain't got nothing wrong. I like big titties. I, I ain't got nothing wrong with that, man. It's just shit. You eat them dick and shit some days. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get canceled for saying that shit. <laughs> This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not alike. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mikhail Casanova back again. You already know what it is. It's another cast reaction. Me slapping the shit out of my microphone. Y'all already know. Um, I've been covering the Guilty Gear trailers, what, about a year now? So it's about, you know, this is another one. We've got uh, Bacon. Why am I saying Bacon? Bacon. <laughs> I just had some, uh, a BLT, so I said Bacon. Uh, we were about to cover Bacon, uh, her reveal trailer, and... Basically, she'll be dropping, I believe, later this month, the 27th, 28th, or something like that. So, um, I know I'm mad late to this this trailer. Everybody had thrown their videos out. You know, this just came out hours ago. But hey, I have my kid. I couldn't do anything about it. We're, we're going to jump into it now. Before we get that started, make sure you like the video, share, comment, sub. And uh, if you want to support what we do, channel memberships, Patreon, patreon.com slash Mikel Casanova. Merch on Teespring and Tee Public and all that good jazz. Let's go ahead and stop wasting your damn time and get on into this reaction. I'm ready to see it. Okay, that retro aesthetic. Okay. She big ass titties, goddamn. I mean, she always had it, but Jesus. They putting a lot of emphasis on them titties, though. She's sexy as hell, Jesus. There's no winning or losing, just knowing yourself. No one can give up on you. you. I get it. I wouldn't want to mess with me either. Say the word and I'll wake you the hell up. Gotta hand it to you. In the end, she believed in herself. I guess this isn't such a bad path to walk. Get up. If you lost, you've got something to gain. You think too much. What do you got to think about anyway? My blade is your blade. Oh, you a drink. You're excited, don't you? Damn! They gave her like that. Okay, so playable 28 for season pass holders, 30 for everyone else. Yeah, I'm gonna get back into it. So we got one more character for the season one. Okay, so uh, I'm, uh, we, we're going to run that back one more time because, look, I like, I, well, I haven't heard what she sounds like in Japanese, but it sounds like they gave her, like, kind of that country accent, kind of like a Kansai. Like, you know, in Japanese, it would be like a Kansai dialect, which makes them sound kind of country. Um, I dig it, though. Let's run it one more, one more time, and then um, uh, then I'll, I'll get my assessment and everything. So I like this. Uh, Seven Samurai aesthetic that we got going on here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this down because you know, I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna get distracted. This is too loud. Okay, here we go. Seven Samurai aesthetic. I like it. Big ass watermelon titties. I, you know, I ain't got no problem with them whatsoever. I'm a titty man. I like them. But, um, you're gonna have a lot of people that say, yo, you only like biking because. Uh, she got titties. Like, no, I'm a man of culture. There's other reasons. I like her play style, her style, the fact that she's like influenced by Rurouni Kenshin, and the fact that she's badass. They got big ass titties. <laughs> she, 
But she got a country accent. I dig it. Yeah, I mean, okay, so like looking at her her model, her 3D model here, I mean, it looks really good. I mean, they put a lot of emphasis on the fact that she got some big ass watermelon titty, <laughs> watermelon titties, I, and I ain't got nothing wrong. I like big titties. I, I ain't got nothing wrong with that, man. It just shit, you eat them in shit for days. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get canceled for saying that shit. <laughs> Oh god. Anyways, um so um shit, I lost my train of thought. The fuck was I gonna say? Anyways, so yeah, her aesthetic is uh I would say like it's it's not a substantial jump from what she looked like in uh Exard, but she still looks good, especially you know, with the higher quality graphical detail that's in Strive over Exard. So she looked really good. Um play style it just seems like uh they they modified a lot of her moves that she's had already uh looking at i mean you know she's got the eye patch the scar well she got you know tattoo the scar there and then she's got this keeping them things in, in check and you know it just i mean there's just a whole lot to like about it i don't care if she only got one arm or one eye <laughs> just saying yo anyways um yeah i'm excited i'm excited she just she's a badass character she's a badass character when you think about a character that can like fight with one arm and one eye and fight on the level of gears that are in this game and all the other top tier god tier characters that says a lot She's a badass character. She should have been, in my honest opinion, she should have been part of the base roster. I don't think she should have been DLC. Honestly, if we look at, uh, where is it? Where is it where they showed all the other characters? <clears throat> I feel like season pass characters should have all been new characters. I don't think it should have been any returning characters like uh by ken at all but uh yeah i i mean i got nothing against it well I, I, it could be better <laughs> i'm just saying i'm happy with uh the voice actress performing you know her her lines it's, it sounds about right i like the way she looks in strive her move sets I got nothing bad to say. That's all. I mean, that's the reaction right there. What the hell y'all else want me to say? What y'all want me to say? I ain't got nothing else. I, mm, I just know <laughs> some people are going to be mad. Cause they're like, oh, they're sexualizing her. Bitch, they've been doing that shit with her since 1998. Ugh, fuck you, big. Come on now. Anyways, she's one of the bad. And that's the thing is like, I don't understand why we at a point now where for character if a female character is sexy then she's sexualized but like why can't she be sexy and a damn beast in the in the ring there's a lot of badass like fighting game characters that are female that are sexy and badass chun lee my shiranui um cammy you know biken right Damn near the entire cast of KOF, they're female characters. So, anyways, anyway, I, I liked it. I, I'm excited to see uh, how she plays in the Strive uh, slow, you know, slow down gameplay compared to Exar. And uh, yeah, I, I will be day one labbing her and uh, probably do a day one stream. But why don't you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this reaction then uh, make sure you like the video, share it, thumbs up it, you know, all that good stuff, sub if you haven't already. If you want to support the content we do, we got channel memberships, we got Patreon, 
and you know patreon.com slash mikhail casanova links for everything is in the description below all that being said i'm signing out i'm enjoying i'm, I'm damn sure enjoying what i'm seeing and uh i catch y'all on the next one having a little hour rest of your day in peace mahalo for making it to the end of the video if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell that way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel from podcasts streams reviews impressions reactions and so much more if you want to support what we do we do have channel memberships we've got patreon we've got subscribe star and as well as coffee, which I would love to be drinking some coffee right now, which I am. Mm, that's some good coffee. But anyway, we got all of that, and we also have merch on Teespring and Public, so make sure you go check that out. And all that being said, I just hope to see you in the next video that I put out. So, hey, see you around.